Yo. All right, Chris. Chris, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Um. Well, I was in Portland, Oregon. Um. What else you want to know? Uh, tell me about your family. You had both your both your parents. Oh. Well. Growing up. Like, I've looked into schizophrenia, like, a bit in it, because I'm interested, but I still don't actually even know what it is, <laughs> like, all now, like, I still don't really get it, like, like, I think it's just, like, like, you're mad deluded, and you're mad, um, you know, you get hallucinations, you hear voices, like, that's, that's kind of the, the stereotypes that, but, yeah, I don't really know much about it. My mom and dad, well, they were they were cool. They got along pretty well. Uh, my father was a bit of a drinker. My mom liked to smoke pot. Um, they comply with the, each other. Uh, get along. How, how would you describe your childhood? What were you saying? How would you describe your childhood? Um, it was decent. No abuse, nothing crazy going on? No abuse, nothing crazy going on. Good. How far did you go in school? Huh? He seems just not there. Like, he's just... Um, went to else. high school. You graduated? Yeah. What did you do after school, after high school? Um, well, after high school, I didn't do nothing much. I worked some jobs, smoked a lot of weed. Um, drank alcohol, tripped on LSD. That's the worst shit <laughs> that you could do. Uh, just get what age were you when you started? Salvia, bath salt, acid. Uh, hmm. Different types of drugs. Growing what, up. what age were you when you started using drugs? Oh, 15. 15? No. That was pot or that was the harder drugs? Just pot. Just pot. And then the bath salts and the LSD and the. As it, as it started for you when? Mm. But it seems like he got so much in his mind. What were you saying? The harder it's... drugs that you were using. You started using at what age? Oh. Well. Doing the acid when I was like 18. How old are you now? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm um, 24 now. What, what drugs are you using today? I've been using crystal meth for some time. I'm seeing. Smoking weed still, drinking alcohol. Yeah. And where do you live? Where do you stay? Um, well, I was staying in San Diego on probation, but now I came out here. On uh, oh, my man seems like he's just like living in hell, fam. Like he can't, can't stay on track for like two seconds. Like <laughs> this shit is crazy. I was on terms with the crisis house out there, but I was getting tired of living life out there. Done with the 
the schizophrenia. Oh, you, you have schizophrenia? Yeah. And are you taking medications for that or have you had medications for that? Um, yeah, I've got Zyprexa for it. And Cogentin. Are you taking them currently? Um, no. When's the last time you spoke to your family? Oh. Last time I spoke to him. Just crazy from. Was uh, back when I was in San Diego. So it's been a while. And how do you uh, support yourself now? Oh, um, well, right now I'm just stealing stuff to get money, stealing clothes. And sell, selling them to a fence? Oh, what? You, you resell them? To, oh, you, you sell the stolen sell items to the fence? I sell them or... Or keep them. Bro, sometimes you forget that some people are living like different worlds. Sam. Do you have any friends, Chris? Yeah, I've got friends back in Utah. And some out here in California. Uh, what's, what's been the lowest point of your life? Crazy, what the fuck? Um, I would say now. Right now? That makes sense. Yeah. Dealing with schizophrenia has got to be very difficult, right? Yeah. I think if you're not taking the medications, you can just spiral downward and it makes it hard to even get your life together again, right? You were saying? Dealing with schizophrenia must be very difficult, especially if you're not taking the medication. Oh, it's not difficult to deal with. It can be, though. Yeah. Are you taking the medications currently? Um, no. no. And are you staying in a tent here in Skid Row, or? No, I'm just staying on the streets. You're just on the street without a tent. Do you have goals of what you'd like to do in your life or anything like that? <laughs> um. Yeah. Try to get some GR out here, but I ain't got no ID or nothing. The government release. Do you see any hope for getting off the streets and anywhere? I mean, do you see your family coming to help you or anything like that? My bad for not talking much, but I'm just, I'm in it, in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in it. <laughs> Um, you're saying what? Sorry. Do you see, do you have any hope of getting off the streets? Do you see any, any solution to your situation? Um, well, 
No. But maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's help for me. Yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few mental health programs that are down here. You might be able to get some help with your medications and, and stabilize your life a little bit. Have you considered going to one of those programs? Um, you probably walk past them every day. Yeah. 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 Going to what program you're saying? Like, I, I, I can direct you to some of them if you like. Okay. When we're done. What? Uh, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your life? Respect. Oh. Respect's nice. a good one. That's important. Nice, nice, nice. Boy, that one was a was a very interesting one. Still, I have um oh, you got a follow up to this one as well. Um, yeah, I'll definitely watch that shit. Um, but yeah, like yeah, as I was saying, like he seemed like he was proper just in his head. Um, it's interesting. Like, I feel like I could, well, I definitely can't relate to it in it, but like I don't know if you lot can relate, but you know them times where it's like. Your mind is just on go so much that it's like it's 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 like borderline unbearable. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying like there's so much going on that you feel like you're not even in reality. Like I felt like that before, so I can't even imagine what my man is going through in it. But yeah, man, that's going to be the end of this one still. But, um, in a bit. <laughs>